Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn about the remaining three methods that are very important to understand. So let me go to the dummy API again. And here we have understood about the get and post. Now let's see what put patch and delete will do. So delete as very obvious, it will basically delete any of the resource or any of the element that you want to delete, right? So any of the objects, so for example, if I have created a sing, uh, some user that previously I have created, I want to delete that particular user. I simply have to send the delete uh, delete uh, call with the ID of the user that I want to delete, right? And in the response, it will be 204, okay? Then in the put, basically, what exactly is the difference between, you know, a post and put? So post is for creating and put is for updating and patch is also for updating. Say, for example, I have created a user with name RCV Academy and job as trainer. Now I have to update this to something else, right? So RCV Academy tutorials, say for example. So I can do a put call and I'll say RCV Academy tutorials in the name. And in job, I, I don't want to change anything. So I'll just put the same trainer in the job and send the put call, okay, using the put, put method and that whole object will be updated, okay. Now, what is the difference? So patch is also same update. Then what is the difference in both cases? Now, the difference in put and patch is that in patch, you can do partial update as well. Say, for example, I only want to update the name, then the whole object I don't need to pass. So I can simply go ahead and change something in the name and just do a patch call and pass on the attribute name and that will get updated. So that's the di basic difference between the put and patch. Okay, both are for updating, but one will require the whole object to be passed in. Whichever you want to update, the patch will require only a specific attribute if you are doing a partial update. Okay, now let's quickly see how you are going to do these calls. Okay, so if I go to the put call here, right? So the request is simply API slash users, right? So if you simply copy this, so you have to put, you have to copy that. And in the postman, I'll create another request and I'll put in, say, for example, I want to update or I want to update this user. Okay. Which is, which has the ID too. So in the method, I simply change it to the put, right? And in the documentation, if you'll see, we have to pass on the body as well, right? So if we go to the put here, we have to pass on the pod body here, similar to post. Why? Because we have to, in order to update, you have to provide, you have to specify what you want to update, right? So that's what we have to update there. So here in the body, selecting the raw and simply providing the body there. Okay, so here I'll simply copy this, the detail that needs to be passed on into the body, the JSON file and paste it here okay so say for example i have to update the name to morpheus1 and xeon resident1 all right so simply select as a json format okay and then go ahead and send it and it should send me the success response 200 okay that yes this has been basically updated successfully and the response you will see the response has been received okay now this is dummy api don't expect that this will you know do everything on the server or persist the changes it is just to see how you are going to do the put call and what all details you need to enter okay so that's about the put call now say for example we want to do the patch okay so in the patch i can simply copy the same right and say for example i just want to update the name okay and not the job so in that in the patch call let me open another tab here and here i'll say this is the patch call. okay so in the body i will say raw and json format paste the details there and because we know the patch can do partial update okay so i'll simply add the name there okay and not the job and the endpoint is same right so endpoint is same so for the same user i'm going to do the patch so i'll simply have this api users and the id of the user send the request and you will say again 200 okay and this is what the patch will do okay now how are you going to delete any of the users right so simply have the delete method okay and then the id of the user right so if i go to the delete method here it will give me the request the endpoint and the response that i'm going to re receive after the deletion will happen okay so if i simply click on this endpoint here and send this in postman i'll create another open another tab and 
then change this request from the drop down to delete and then enter the endpoint for the user that i want to delete so here i want to delete the user 2 so i'll provide the id of the user if i want to delete user 1 or user 3 i'll provide the id accordingly and if i send this delete request in postman you will see that 204 no content will be received okay that's what the documentation basically says about the delete okay so if you go to delete this is what you know the the response should be okay so usually here they have hard coded it as two but if i simply say for example let's change it to two okay let's change it to and say so you'll see 204 no content right so basically deletion has been successful so any any status code from 200 or starting with 2 is basically a success message right so this 204 is because the server has successfully processed the request but hasn't returned any content and that is why 204 is received okay so this is kind of successful deletion request so these are some of the very common methods that you will be using will be using very commonly across this whole tutorial tutorial series the get post put patch and delete and these are the very frequent ones that you'll be using in your real time projects as well to do any api testing okay so that's all for this tutorial in the next one i'll explore a little bit more around the postman features and how you can save all of these requests the tabs that i have opened what all things need to be done to save it into collections and what exactly is collection post so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching